Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about type 1 error in clinical research. More after the intro. What is type 1 error in clinical research? Type 1 error, also known as a false positive, occurs when a clinical research study incorrectly rejects the null hypothesis. In other words, it is when a study finds a statistically significant result when there is actually no effect. This is an important concept to understand in clinical research because it can lead to incorrect conclusions and have serious implications for making decisions about treatments, therapies, or interventions. Type 1 error occurs when a researcher incorrectly rejects the null hypothesis. This means that the statistical test has found a statistically significant result even though there is no effect. The null hypothesis states that there is no difference between the treatment and control groups, but the statistical test finds a difference even though there is none. In clinical research, this can lead to incorrect conclusions and be detrimental to making decisions about treatments, therapies, or interventions. Statistics play an important role in clinical research and understanding type 1 error is essential for conducting valid and reliable studies. By understanding type 1 error, researchers can take steps to reduce the risk of making this mistake and ensure that their studies are valid and reliable. What is type 1 error? The null hypothesis states that there is no difference between the treatment and control groups in an experiment. When a researcher finds a statistically significant result even though there is no effect, this is known as a type 1 error. This means that the researcher has failed to accept the null hypothesis even though it is true. False positive results occur when the researcher incorrectly rejects the null hypothesis. This can lead to incorrect conclusions and be detrimental to making decisions about treatments, therapies, or interventions. It is important to understand type 1 error and take steps to reduce the risk of making this mistake in order to ensure that clinical research studies are valid and reliable. Examples of type 1 error in clinical trials include incorrectly concluding that a new drug is effective when it is not. How to avoid type 1 error in clinical research there are several steps researchers can take to reduce the risk of making a type 1 error in their clinical research studies. These steps include pretesting, replication studies, and understanding bias and confounding variables. Pretesting is another important step researchers can take to reduce the risk of making a type 1 error in their studies. Pretesting involves conducting a pilot study before beginning the larger study in order to identify any potential issues with the design or implementation of the study. By pretesting, researchers can identify any potential problems that may lead to a type 1 error and adjust their methods accordingly before beginning the full study. Replication studies are also important for avoiding type 1 errors in clinical research studies. Replication studies involve repeating the same experiment multiple times in independent samples in order to confirm any results found in the original study. By conducting replication studies, researchers can increase their confidence in any results they find and reduce their chances of making a type 1 error. It is also important for researchers to understand bias and confounding variables when conducting clinical research studies. Bias refers to systematic errors in data collection or analysis that lead to incorrect conclusions about an effect or relationship between two variables. Confounding variables are extraneous variables that are correlated with both the independent variable, the variable being manipulated by the researcher, for example the treatment, and dependent variable, the variable being measured by the researcher, the outcome. Understanding these concepts can help researchers identify any potential issues that may lead to a type 1 error and adjust their methods accordingly before beginning their study. In conclusion, 
Type 1 error occurs when a researcher incorrectly rejects the null hypothesis, even though there is no effect. This can lead to incorrect conclusions and be detrimental to making decisions about treatments, therapies, or interventions. Researchers can take steps to reduce their risk of making this mistake by pretesting, conducting replication studies, and understanding bias and confounding variables. Understanding type 1 error is essential for conducting valid and reliable clinical research studies. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.